So in this tutorial, we are going to create an Azure function which will be triggered when we upload a file into uh, an Azure blob storage. So the first thing we're going to do is we have to create a resource group. So if we click on resource groups within the Azure portal and then we click on create resource group. I'm going to give it a name of apps 365 and demo hyphen rg. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on UK South, review and create, allow that to validate, click on create once it's validated, go to the resource group, create a resource and I'm gonna need a storage account. Click on the result click on create storage account uh, ensure that the resource group is correct and give it a name uh, give it a name of apps365 demo sa keep the performance as standard and I'm more than happy with local locally redundant storage click on review once that's validated click on create and allow that to deploy. Once that deployment has been completed, we're going to go ahead and go to the resource. And the next thing we need to do is create a container. So in that container, I'm just going to call it demo container. Go ahead and click create. And the other thing we need is the uh, connection string. So if I click on access keys, I'm going to show this key, click on copy, hide that again, and I'm going to take a quick note of that. Minimize that. Minimize our browser. Let's now create a new Visual, uh, a new function project. So launch your Visual Studio, create a new project. Click on Azure Functions, click on Next. I'm going to give it a name of Azure Blob Trigger Function and click Next. I'm going to keep it as .NET isolated uh, for this example. Uh, I'm also going to use, of course, a Blob Trigger and I'm going to inject in here the connection string and the path will be as we have named our container demo container I'm going to copy that to be the path and paste that in there we'll go ahead and click create once your project has been created you'll be faced with a connected dependency. I'm going to go ahead and click cancel for now. I'm going to go into the local settings.json file. And as you can see, this is your web job storage. Oops, sorry. The is your web job storage property is null. So I'm going to go ahead and paste into here our connection string. So unless you define otherwise, it will by default pick up the Azure Web Job Storage property from the local settings and that will then be used as the connection string. So if we didn't provide a connection string when we were configuring our uh, name, etc., for was your function uh, if for example just to show you what I mean if we were to go ahead and delete that um, connection string from here and this were to remain uh, empty it will actually go and pick up from your local settings.json file uh, the is your web job storage um, property value 
so just to kind of show you that we'll leave that blank and as you can see we provided the name of our container here which was demo container and that will then pick up the name of the file now if I go to my file explorer I have uh, or I will rather create in here a text document and we'll call it testing and inside here we'll say hello world we'll go ahead and save that close that text file we'll put a breakpoint on or within our blob trigger Azure function we'll go ahead and start this um, function up locally on our machine uh, and, I, and I put that breakpoint in um, clicking F9 on my keyboard which is a shortcut to uh, put a breakpoint and once or whilst that project loads I'll go back to my um, my browser and as you can see I'm already inside of the container so just uh, just in case you, you missed that I'll go back a level go back to my overview overview pane we'll go into the, the resource group or you can click on the the hamburger icon click on resource groups you click into the resource group in question click into the storage account and then you've got containers on the left hand side and we have then within there our demo container and within our demo commit container which we're listening to with the, with our zero function I'm going to go ahead and browse for files and I'm going to upload this testing.txt file and I'm going to go ahead and click upload once that's uploaded that will be picked up by our Azure function which as you can see it stopped the function because it's hit our breakpoint and if we were to hover over this my blob as you can see the contents of that text file is hello world as we had typed the name of that file is testing.txt so that's worked perfectly uh, we can go ahead and click continue and that will obviously go ahead and then run any other lines of code which was being um, kind of paused due to our breakpoint but that's it really uh, please don't forget to like comment and su subscribe thanks for watching